Okay, Raven, so, um, as you saw in my last video that I had with this, I did, um, I did what you said here, like, delete the original frame and just rename the bandana frame. So I'm going to follow the rest of the tutorial from here, and there is an error message I've been getting, because I tried making this bandana three, uh, I think it was two other times before. Tried making this bandana two other times before, and I'm going to show you what goes on whenever I try to. Okay, let me just continue from where I left off from here. Alright, so... Make sure you have the joints, all right, frame selected, and then go into joints tab. So this is the video tutorial, so let me just hit select. All right, there we have it selected. Wait, actually, hold on one second. Edit, select none first, so I have nothing selected. Then just click on this frame, then select, so I have it selected. Now go to joints, and then, let me just double check to see what he did, does in the video. Alright, make sure you have the frame selected, then go to the joints tab. Uncheck, hide skeleton. Wait, uncheck show skeleton, check so, show skeleton, that's what he did. So that's what I have to do, so check, um, show skeleton. Alright, there it's showing. Now it's a hat, so I just, I'm assuming I just have to assign it to the head. I don't think I have to assign it to any of the, to any of the hairs at all, I'm assuming. If I do, then, uh, please let me know and I'll go back in and edit it. Okay, so. Scroll down until you find pelvis. In my case, it's gonna be head. Double click it and it'll turn green. Holding shift on your keyboard, go to the groups tabs and Wait, hold on, let me show it. Double click it and it'll turn green. Holding shift on the keyboard, go to the groups tab and select frame and the tail will go red while the pelvis stays green. Go back to joints and click assign. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do that and I need two hands to do that and I can't hold my iPod touch while I record and film and do that. So I'm just gonna put this on pause and I'll be right back, hold on. Okay, so I had it selected right there, and click Assign. So that's what I did. And let me see what they do next. Now go to File, Export, Sims 2, Unimesh Exporter, version 4.09, save it in our tail creation folder, call it Final Mesh. Okay, so Export, File, Export, Sims 2, yada yada, let me find that. Is that it? Oh yeah, here it is. Wait, oh wait, wait. no, 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 not, not that one. Let me just double check. Unimass Exporter version 4. Point, version 4.09. That was the wrong one, let me try it one more time. It's hard to see it through my iPod. Okay, export. Not the data splitter, uh, I'm assuming. Okay, I found it. Right down there. So click it. Alright, and it's in the folder. So, I'm just going to call it Joe's Final... Hold on. Bandana... I'm not sure if I'm spelling bandana right, but it'll do good enough mesh. So Joe's final bandana mesh. Then click save. Alright, what else is it going to have us do? Alright, got done that step. Export. Let me just double check. Just watching this tutorial again. Open up SimPE and open our zo zombie... Okay. Well, his file is a different name than mine, but I'm going to do that right now. So hold on one second. Let me skip to that part. Okay, so I got SimPE open right now. 
Now I'm just gonna double check to see what they do in the video, just so I just so I make sure what they do that I do it right. Open SimPE and reopen SimPE and open our uh, the mesh we made the the download file we made. File select the GMDC in the resource tree. Right click on it in the resource list and click replace. Okay, so I'm gonna have to open that. Let me do that right now. File open. Here it is right here and GMDC okay right click and let me double check what see how they do it right click replace go to our tail creation and final mesh oh I see what they did there click OK alright let me do that right click replace all right, there's the mesh I made. Click on that. What the hell? All right. Um, hold on. All right, select yes. And now let me double check what they did. Now, if you preview it, you will see our, our tail. Well, in my case, my bandana. Save it and close MPE. Clo close milk shape, and you can save if you want to. Okay, so let me double check. So we got that, and you should see the bandana. Oh, preview. Click that. Is it there? Oh yeah, it is there. Okay. So there, I see the bandana. And I'm, I'm assuming I... Do I hit commit? Or, well, let me see what they did. Did they hit commit? Let me just double check. I'm sorry. Sorry this is kind of slow. Open RSMP. Alright, they replaced it. That's exactly what I did. Click OK. Preview. Preview and you see your tail. Oh, so they didn't click commit. File, save, and close MPE. Alright, so let me try doing that. Alright, we see our band. I see my bandanas, and it looks pretty good from what I can see here. And then, file, save. Alright, now I'm going to close SimPE, but there's a tricky part. Um, when I, last time I tried making the bandana in Sims 2 Milkshape, it, I mean, and with Body Shop and everything, when I opened it up in Body Shop and attempted to recolor it, it didn't work at all, and it didn't, um, it wasn't allowing me to recolor it either, and it wasn't showing up as a dark, sh as a dark color as it does in this video. Let me show that to you guys. Um, hold on, let me open up Body Shop. It takes a while for Body Shop to load up on my computer, but I'll show you. Okay, so I finally got Sims 2 Body Shop open. Um, I wanted to show you guys this because it's an error that's been going on. As I said earlier, I tried creating the bandana like three times already. Not sure if this is going to happen again this time, but if you're watching this video, it definitely has. Otherwise, I won't post this video if it doesn't. So, there. Create parts, load saved project, bandana tutorial, oh, oops, don't want to open that, okay, oh, god, did this work? Open, why isn't it showing up? What the hell? Oh, come on, the mesh didn't even show up? Okay, let me try putting it in Downloads folder instead. Oh wait, no. Hold on, my bad. Okay, start new progress project. I think I know what I did. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so here it is. Uh, it looks all right. I mean, doesn't exactly look like exactly. Oh, uh, actually, it is good. Let me see. Double check. Oh wait a second. 
Yeah, there's some problem with the head, though. It's closed in a little bit, but that doesn't matter. Don't think that would be very noticeable or anything. I haven't... I know how to convert it so males can wear it, too. And I, ha I know how to... A quick little way of converting it to teenage males. But let me try to create a recolor of it. So... So I'm going to click this. Enter a project named here. Joe Winko Ban... Dana RC1. Alright, okay, I can't even fit that. Alright, Joe Winko, B for bandana, RC for recolor, and 1 because it's the first recolor I'm ever gonna make. Click the check mark. Holy crap, it didn't show the error message. Okay, so it did work. Alright, so. I'm still gonna be posting this video so you guys can see exactly how I made it. But one thing, now let's say I wanted to go back and edit this mesh and edit out this part. How would I do that? Like, would I have to start this all over again or could I just edit the file I already have? Because I already have it saved in Milkshape. I'll figure it out. I'm still going to post this video to let you guys know how I finished it and how it all worked out and how the recolor worked. Well, first I'm going to make the recolor and then show you again. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Well, okay, so I was finally able to recolor it, and, um, let me show you what it's really supposed to look like. Yeah, I wanted it to be pointed, and it doesn't have to look exactly like it does in real life, but let me just double check. I really wanted it to look like, uh, let me scroll up a bit. This is what I wanted it to look like, and, yeah, it doesn't look exactly alike, but, you know, it's good enough. I mean... I don't want... I'm using it for our next video I'm making, and this little thing sticking out here. It doesn't really matter, though, but it doesn't have to be flawless or anything. So, but I did make it look enough alike. Wish it was closer to my eyebrows, though, but uh, it's good enough, really. Good enough nonetheless. So, I can figure out... Right now, I only have it for adult female sims, but I'm going to figure out how to convert it to... Uh, teenage male and adult male sims, because that's who I really want to wear it. There's a, a, there's a tutorial right here on how to convert it to different ages. I'm not sure how to convert it to different genders, so it works with different genders, but I'm pretty sure I can use the same one here. And I used this tutorial before. I'm going to have a link to it on the post, and I'm going to have a link to it in this video, too. So... I'm gonna let you, I'll let you know if anything goes wrong, Raven, but thank you so much for helping me with this. Seriously. You're the best. But as I said earlier, I will let you know if anything goes wrong. But either way, you're the best.